Well, what's going on here? Bruce and Dick, aren't these the cutest puzzle balloons you've ever seen? Yes, they're very unusual. Some balloon factory was going out of business, and Alfred was able to get the exact ones I need for a party I'm giving for underprivileged children. My pleasure, madam. They really are quite a novelty, aren't they? Verily, Aunt Harriet, quite a novelty. Well, all's well that... That ends well, sir? Well... <laughs> Underdog, it was a fairly routine hero's day, and he went quietly about his heroic business. He foiled a bank robbery. He rescued Sweet Polly from the nuclear robotizer of Simon Barr Sinister. he made himself useful around the world. Yet little did he know that a million, million miles away, across the vast reaches of intergalactic space, events were taking place which would start Underdog on one of his greatest adventures. There, on the faraway planet Zot, ruled the terrible-tempered King Clover. I'm surrounded by incompetence. The only one who could approach him was his daughter, the beautiful Princess Glissando, who was the apple of his eye. How is my little pigeon egg today? <coughs> Why, what's the matter, tiny one? I want a husband. So then you shall have a husband. But you must have the best. Where is Goggle, my prime minister? Here, sire. Oh, there you are. I want you to go throughout the kingdom of Zot and find the young warriors who would be suitable for my daughter. Don't forget. They gotta be strong. Right. The strongest. Then we'll put them all in the arena and let the best man win. All the finest warriors in the kingdom of Zot were rounded up and sent to the arena where they were to fight for the Princess Glissando's hand. There was Claude, Bode, Gold, Garn, Tarn, Jern, Ram, Ban, and Seymour. The best and strongest Zotsers in the land. Let the Zotsing begin! So, first the galaxy, and then the universe was searched until at last... Sire, sire, come quickly and bring the Princess Glissando! Look at that! You like him, my little blossom? He is yours. Where does he live? Uh, well, according to this map... Uh, he lives on a not important planet called Earth. Good. He'll be the husband of the fairest creature in the universe? Or... Zot! Yes, sire. Yes, sire. In 
arrived shortly, an expedition of saucers took off. And slipping silently through the dark, star-studded vastness of space, approached the planet Earth and Underdog. The saucers are approaching Earth, and the people are alarmed. Sweet Polly Purebred, TV's top reporter, is on the scene. And the entire world is on the verge of panic because of these mysterious flying objects from outer space. The authorities are searching for Underdog in hopes that he might be able to do something. And where was Underdog? At that very moment, he was going about his hero's business 100 feet beneath the surface of the ocean, battling a submarine that gangsters were using to smuggle goods into the country. When help is needed, I am not slow. It's hip, 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 and away I go. Look, in the sky, it's a plane. It's a void. It's a frog. A frog? Not plane or bird or even frog. It's just little old me. Underdog. Now what's the trouble? Let me guess. The world is in some terrible mess. We're being attacked. Attacked? Attacked from where? Right wing? Uh, where is the one called Underdog? If it's Underdog you seek, just turn around and take a peek. King Clobber summons you to the planet Zot and commands that you will marry his daughter, the fair Princess Glissando. Behold your bride. She's very striking, I agree, but marriage cannot be for me. Uh, look, Iceling, you can't refuse the royal command. Uh, besides, if we don't bring you back, King Clobber will give us a dot in the head. What says that? You don't know what a dot is? No. This. <laughs> Sorry, friends, now on your way, there'll be no wedding bells today. <laughs> You'll be sorry! What? You didn't bring him back? <laughs> I'm surrounded by incompetence! Uh, but he was too much for us! He's too strong! <laughs> Weaklings, get me clawed, boat, goat, gun, tom, chain, ram, bam, and Seymour. Bring me this dog of an underdog. Flying saucers are approaching again, but this time our heroic underdog is ready for them. We, uh, we, we, we didn't bring him, Highness. What? You the strongest man in Zot? Oh, I'm surrounded by incompetence. <laughs> now call out the army. No one can stand up against the Zot army. But Underdog was ready, and taking off met the invading army halfway. And there, in the cold and the dark of outer space, a mighty battle took place.
four, three, two, one, let's go. Level up, 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 level up. All this on me so yummy, all this on me so yummy. No, you won't just yummy, yummy all in your tummy. Level up, 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 level up. All this on me so yummy, all this on me so yummy. No, you won't just yummy, yummy all in your tummy. Fled back to the planet Zod. A whole army? And you didn't bring him back? <laughs> I'm surrounded by incompetence. <laughs> now, don't cry, my little popsicle. I will get your husband for you. Goggle! Goggle! Where's my prime minister? Here, sire! Goggle! You are the smartest man on the planet, except for me. I want you to figure a way to get this dog of an underdog. Uh, let me think, sire. Um. Um. Hmm. Ah, I have it. Underdog has one weakness. A certain young lady named Sweet Polly Purebred. Now, if we could capture Sweet Polly. Brilliant. We get Sweet Polly in our power, and Underdog will have to do what we say or sight. That will be the end of Sweet Polly. See that it is done. And so, late that night, a lone saucer hovered over the house of Sweet Polly, and... And the next morning, Shoeshine, unaware that Sweet Polly had been carried away, was busily going about his humble task when... Oh, ouch! Oh, but look, there's a note attached. I have captured Sweet Polly, ha, 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 signed King Clobber of Zot. Uh, excuse me, sir, I'll finish the other shoe tomorrow. And slipping around the corner to a telephone booth, humble, lovable Shoeshine became... Underdog. When Polly's in trouble, I am not slow, so it's hip, 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 and away I go. Meanwhile, on the planet Zot, King Clobber had sweet Polly helplessly tied directly under the great Zot, a ten-ton weight hung from a thin cord. There's no need for fear. Underdog is here. You have a choice. Either marry my daughter and live here on Zot, or I will drop the great Zot on Sweet Polly's head. What is your choice? Well, what will it be? If you do not marry my daughter, I will cut this bread and Zot. Sweet Polly will be... I have no choice, it's plain to see. I'll marry Glissando. Set Polly free. And true to his kingly word, King Clobber freed Sweet Polly and sent her back to Earth, where she soon broadcast on television. And... And so, dear friends, Underdog is to stay on the planet sought forever and marry the Princess Glissando. No more will we be able to call on him for help. No more will we see him speeding around the world, performing his heroic... <laughs> At that very moment on the planet Zot, a million, million miles away, let the wedding begin. <clears throat> As king of Zot, I now pronounce you... Yes, it was the terrible two-headed dragon, legendary enemy of the people of Zot. There's no need to fear. Underdog is here. But Underdog had never met anything quite as ferocious as the two-headed dragon of Zot. I'm waving. Uh, Ralph. We're a team. Want to fight? fight? 
<laughs> come on! Come on! Teamwork! Teamwork! That's what counts! <laughs> I'll teach you, uh... Teamwork, teamwork, that's what counts! <laughs> hmm, take that, and that! What do you know? A toughie! One, One two, two, three, four! Teamwork, teamwork, that's what counts! <laughs> Walking, but we're not going. I've had enough from both of you, so here's what I intend to do. Enough? Enough. Let's cut out. Oh, no, you don't. We'll, we'll be, be good. good. And so the dragon will never bother you again. You have saved us, Underdog. And helped me find my own true love right under my nose all the time. Baby King. My He-Mans. And so, Underdog, you can have anything you wish. What I wish, I'll quickly say. I wish to leave Zat without delay. So be it. And so, Underdog sped back to Earth and once again took up his job as Hero of Heroes. Look! In the sky! It's a plane! It's a bird! It's a frog! A frog? Not plane or bird or even frog. It's just little old me. <laughs> Underdog. Underdog.